Welcome back to Morning Joe. Former National Security Advisor Dr. Zbigniew Brzezinski, my father, spent his entire adult life working on issues of geopolitics and foreign policy. We recently sat down with author and historian Justin Bass. His new biography, Zbigniew Brzezinski, America's Grand Strategist, traces my dad's influence on the global stage. The pictures right now are bringing me back in time, back to when I was 12 years old, actually. Um, but you say there are few grand strategists in modern American history, and my father was one of them. Exactly. <clears throat> when I um, started this research, I discovered that uh, at Harvard University, in the course of the 50s, you had a concentration of uh, great minds. Uh, you had uh, uh, Zbigniew Brzezinski, uh, you had Henry Kissinger, you had Sam Huntington, who then became famous for his Clash of Civilization book and, and others. And that was really a sort of incubator for thinking about America's relations uh, with the world. And all of these men had a profound impact on America's foreign policy. So how would you describe my father's impact on American foreign huh. policy? It was, he uh, spoke in complete paragraphs, so you will be required to do so <laughs> as well. <laughs> uh, quite a challenge. Uh, you know, I guess the reason why he made uh, such, uh, uh, such an impact was uh, first because of his longevity. Uh, during six decades, uh, he uh, kept advising American and American presidents on U.S. foreign policy. Second thing, he was fiercely independent. So he was more of a Democrat than a Republican, but whenever it is agreed with the Democrats, then uh, he would support the uh, Republican candidates. F for example, uh, he did not endorse George McGovern in 72, and uh, he endorsed George H.W. Bush in mm -hmm. 1988 because he thought right. the uh, uh, Democratic candidate was not his taste. So independence, longevity, and also a massive output of thinking, books, etc. Fiercely independent, Joe, and also fierce. Oh, yeah, fiercely independent. <laughs> also very fierce uh, towards critics and those that his daughter knew at times <laughs> on TV. But a very kind, you know, a very kind and gentle man behind closed doors. And I just, I was wondering if you could draw out that part of his personality that always surprised me, that Mika always talked about to friends when he would be fierce on television. She always said, we grew up around Republicans because my father wanted to have everybody, uh, wanted everybody to have a seat at the table. And the that's why him. Condi Rice, yeah, Condi Rice, Madeleine Albright, Bob Gates, leaders from both parties actually worked on his staff. And that's what he embraced, people that would challenge him. Could you, could you explain that part of, of his personality and his leadership? Uh, yes, so uh, an anecdote uh, is that when uh, he played tennis uh, until very late in the 2000s when uh, he was uh, already in his early 80s and uh, he didn't play to just enjoy the game, he played to win. No, and so that's, that's the way he uh, also saw arguments uh, even uh, around the dinner table uh, at home. And he was, he had very little uh, patience for bladder or for half-baked arguments, uh, was always insisting whether it would be his uh, kids or his students that, uh, uh, that people make an argument, uh, have knowledge of what they're talking about, and also uh, construct uh, some kind of, uh, uh, you know, some kind of vision some kind of argumented uh, uh, strategic vision. Yes, he always wanted me, Joe, to articulate my vision at the dinner table, and it often didn't also, end well. Also, just, <laughs> just, follow, just following up uh, with that anecdote, Willie, um, Mika's uh, youngest daughter went to Madeira mm -hmm. and actually uh, lived with the Brzezinski's for a year in high school. And she and her grandfather would go out and play tennis uh, <laughs> regularly almost every day, and uh, Carly would say that uh, when they came up uh, from the house, uh, from the tennis courts to the house, uh, somebody would ask, how did the game go? If he won, he said, well, it was wonderful. It was a wonderful game. And if he lost to his granddaughter, he said, well, you know, not, it, it, there was not much to talk about. <laughs> Fiercely competitive, even with his granddaughter. Some granddads let the granddaughters win. No. They make them feel good. No. Nope. He, nope. Went for, he went for not the cheap. jugular, <laughs> didn't he? My dad never asked me at the dinner table about my strategic vision. I know. It was usually it's, about what Winfield did for the Yankees. It's really the chilling, before. let me tell you. Um, this book is in, incredible. Incredible, Justin, and I, it's so interesting. You talk about the longevity that Dr. Brzezinski had from LBJ through Barack Obama. 
And those are a series of very different presidents with very different views of the world, and they represent different parties. What was it about Dr. Krasinski that made each of those presidents along that line seek out his counsel? And they didn't view it in a partisan way, as if, well, I may, you know, he might not be a member of my party today. I don't think Donald Trump would, for example, bring in somebody who perhaps challenged his worldview the way Dr. Krasinski did many of these presidents. No, he got along with most of them. Of course, he was an advisor. He was the national security advisor for Jimmy Carter. But right after uh, Ronald Reagan consulted him on various occasions uh, to, the, uh, uh, to the surprise of his staff, and uh, the only president with whom he did not get along was uh, George W. Bush. Uh, he fiercely opposed the Iraq war. He thought it was a mistake, and so he didn't get along with Bush at all. But as early as July 2007, uh, he met with uh, Barack Obama, who was uh, then not very well known uh, and, um, and, and found him to be uh, strikingly uh, smart and, and, and uh, able to reflect and to have that strategic vision that he insisted all presidents should have. Thank you very much. The book is Bignev Brzezinski, America's Grand Strategist. Justin Vase, thank you very much. Coming up, as friends and family gather on this Memorial Day, a new book is exploring the inner dynamic behind those social settings, why we meet and why it matters. It's a different way of thinking about things, and that's next on Morning Joe. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.